At a first glance, nanoscale materials may seem to exist in an exotic world all to their own. After all, nanomaterials tend to behave radically different from their corresponding bulk materials, even though they have the exact same chemical composition and are made of the exact same types of atoms. For instance, the atoms that make up a gold bar are identical to the atoms that make up a gold nanoparticle. In our everyday lives, we're used to objects having consistent and fixed properties when their chemical compositions are consistent and fixed. For instance, regardless of their size, shape, or function, identical materials will appear the same color, have the same conductivity, and melt at the same temperature. So why are things so different at the nanoscale? The most obvious characteristic common to all nanomaterials is their nano size. They are composed of a relatively small number of atoms and typically measure under about 100 nanometers. As it turns out, when an object is composed of such few atoms, unique phenomena occur which overpower the effects of classical physics. So at the nanoscale, it isn't just a material's chemical composition that determines its properties. For example, small changes in the size and shape of a nanomaterial can result in unexpected and unpredictable behaviors compared to larger bulk objects made of the exact same material. The shape and size dependence of these properties is an important characteristic unique to nanomaterials. Another unique characteristic of nanomaterials is that they take up a much smaller volume than their corresponding bulk materials, but by comparison also have a much larger surface area. Additionally, certain nanomaterials can disperse well in solution even when their bulk counterparts would sink under the force of gravity. Nanomaterials can even interact with light in different ways, including taking on new colors. The uniqueness of nanomaterials and the ability to manipulate them is what makes nanotechnology so diverse and exciting. Scientists can tune the composition, size, and shape of nanomaterials to engineer something completely new with the ideal properties for any given application. Let's take a look at the element silver. For hundreds of years, silver has been used to make coins and jewelry. No matter what it's used for, all forms of pure bulk silver behave the same way and have the same properties, like its characteristic metallic luster. In stark contrast, silver nanomaterials exhibit entirely new and unique behaviors and properties. Tiny clusters of silver can have antimicrobial properties, which can be used to create bacteria-resistant clothing or more effective mouthwash. Two-dimensional networks of tiny silver wires can retain high conductivity while acquiring new properties such as flexibility, stretchability, and transparency, which can be used to make foldable touchscreens or printable electronic displays. Ultra-thin films, or layers, of silver can similarly be utilized in high-efficient solar cells. And that's just one element. Imagine what we can do with all the other elements and their combinations when engineered at the nanoscale. Just like that, it's as if the periodic table expands into new dimensions, opening up a whole new universe of possibilities.